Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today I am presenting you briefly a case few days back, 70 years old, one-eyed male patient which I am showing you presented to me with dense posterior capsular opacification and decrease of vision. I advise him yeah capsulotomy straight away. He went to another setup because I don't have the facility and now after a week of post yeah capsulotomy came that my vision has further deteriorated after laser you prescribed to me. When I examined him yeah was large capsulotomy was performed and on dilated fundus examination found fresh rigmatogenous retinal detachment. I felt very guilty for his condition because I had referred to him urge urgently i referred this patient to a vr facility to save his only eye now the take home message from this case is that we should be very careful while sending the patients for yak capsulotomy and while performing yak capsulotomy especially in one eyed patients we should examine dilated fundus in detail and also read the notes of the operation if possible uh, to see whether the patient is myopic um, we can get an idea from the fundus examination or iol number like plus 13 plus 14 try to delay yag laser as much as possible we should also perform it if vision is too much decreased no need to perform for 6 9 6 12 vision no need to make full posterior capsular opening just central 2 into 2 millimeter clear area is enough size of capsulotomy matters a lot bigger the capsulotomy higher the chances of retinal detachment and use as much lower power as effective and focus laser aiming beam on the posterior capsule now too much power and large capsulotomy was the reason most probable reason cause of that retinal detachment i hope we learn a lesson from this case and this patient gets back his vision after surgery we all should pray for him uh, so that was all from this case thank you very much